Uh, as for our uh, schedule today, so uh, we have three Dhamma talk. First Dhamma talk will be delivered by uh, Uzgude Dhamma Garu Bhante. And the second Dhamma talk will be delivered by Panyadipa Bhante. And also third Dhamma talk will be delivered by Proka Bhante. Bhante. So this time today we, uh, we have a little bit of uh, change compared to last few years. So we try to complete or finish the, uh, the program in this morning period. So we have three Dhamma talk and, and also after three Dhamma talk we will offer all the uh, offerings to the Bhikkhu Sangha and then we'll have Pindapata Amsaram. So we will offer the Katina robe after the lunch so, and also we will transfer uh, all the merits after the lunch. So now I uh, respectfully request from uh, Bhante, uh, Dhammagaru Bhante, who is a resident monk from Los Angeles Buddhist Vihara, to enlighten our, uh, uh, to eradicate the ignorance, uh, the darkness of ignorance, and to enlighten us about Buddhism more and more. We actually uh, schedule the time, so I request uh, Bante to deliver, all the Bante to deliver like 15 to 20 minutes or 25 minutes, less than 25 minutes so we can have enough time. Venerable members of the Mahasangha, friends in Dhamma, all of you gathered here today for a special meritorious act offering cutting rope ceremony to the Mahasangha. All of you know that receiving a human life is very rare. And also Buddha says, having a Buddha sasana, the dispensation of a Buddha is a rare time. And also listening to Dhamma is a very rare time. As human beings, we have received these rare opportunities in this life. First of all, we should be grateful to our Mahasangha. Because of Mahasangha, we can listen to Dhamma and we can understand who the Buddha is. And also Buddha says, Anuttaram Punyakyatang Lokasya. The supreme field of merit of the world is the Mahasangha. When we receive the Mahasangha, we have a chance to listen to what the Buddha taught. And also, throughout listening to Dhamma, we can recognize who the Buddha is. The Buddha, Dhamma, and the Sangha are the triple gem. You know, these are very valuable things that we have received as human beings. When we have these times, we should develop our mind to the maximum level. And here especially, you are performing a great meritorious deed, offering cutting a robe ceremony to the Mahasangha. According to Buddhist tradition, there are eight great meritorious deeds. One of them is Katinaka Parikharam. The very first great meritorious deed is offering Katina rope to the Mahasangha. We have only one chance for a year to offer to Mahasangha uh, Katina rope once a year. In this year, in this temple, you have only one chance to offer the cutting rope to the Mahasangha. All of you gathered here to offer these items to the Mahasangha. Not only you are offering cutting rope to the Mahasangha, but you are offering Atta Parikkar too. And also you are offering Sangha Dan too. You know, when we develop, when we perform, this kind of meritorious deeds, we receive visible results. Buddha says, Ayu Vanno Sukhang Balang. I think all of you know this means 
Ayu means longevity. Vanna means good complexion. Sukha means happiness. Bala means strength. As the result of practicing these kind of activities, we receive these four benefits in this immediate life. Ayu, Vanna, Sukha, Bala. Why do we need to have these facilities, benefits in this life? <coughs> Everyone likes to develop their longevity. Everyone likes their good complexion, <laughs> health, happiness, and strength. You know, if we don't have these facilities, we are unable to live long. By practicing these kind of activities, purifying our mind, we have a great chance to live for a long time in this life. Not only that, when we have these facilities, little by little we listen to Buddha's message. As the result of doing these activities, especially, we have a great opportunity to listen to what the Supreme Buddha said. That is the great chance to practice. And when we listen to Buddha's message, we should understand what Buddha taught in our life. According to Buddhism, all Buddhist doctrines can be included into a same stanza. I think all of you know Sabha Papa Sakaranam, Kusala Sopa Sampada, Satitta Pariyodapanam, Etham. Buddhana Sasana. Sabha Papa Sakarana means not to do any evil. Kusala Sukha Sambada, practicing good deeds. Satit Pariyodapana, purifying one's mind. Etang Buddhana Sasana. This is the message of the all Buddhas who appear in the world. Very first advice of the Buddha is that not to do any evil. Why do overcome evils? When we do something with a wicked mind, we have a lot of problems in this life. That is why Buddha kindly explained not to do any evil. Not only that, Buddha says, Kusala Sopa Sampada. You know, all the doctrines of the Buddha can be divided into two. One of them is the heavenly path. The other one is Devaran's path. Sagamagga and Mokkamagga. I think all of you know as a summary of the Buddha's message. Sagamagga or Swargamagga and Mokkamagga or Moksha Marga. Sagamagga means how we receive a blissful life hereafter. And also Buddha says, Mokkamagga, how we overcome the sansaric circle, how we achieve the supreme bliss of Nibbana. There Buddha says, hmm. very first advice of the Buddha, how we make a blissful life hereafter. There is a very special discourse in Buddhism, Punya Visanda, the streams of merits, hmm. meritorious streams. Buddha says there are eight meritorious streams. Buddha Saranangato Hoti, Dhamma Saranangato Hoti, Sangha Saranangato Hoti. If someone is going to Buddha for refuge, going to Dhamma for refuge, going to Sangha for refuge, this is the great meritorious deeds. If we have the triple gem, it means our mind is so pure and calm. Not only that, Buddha says, Pānāti pātā pāti virato hoti, abstain from taking life. Adinādāna pāti virato hoti, abstain from stealing. Pāme suvītā chāra pāti virato hoti, abstain from sexual misconduct. Musāvādā pāti virato hoti, abstain from false speech. Surāmere maja pramādā chāna pāti virato hoti, abstaining from intoxicating drinks and drugs causing heedlessness. This is the path 
for uh, bliss, blissful life thereafter. I think you do a lot of meritorious deeds in your life. Sometimes if someone asks you that, what are the things that cause to have a blissful life hereafter? Sometimes you have no answer. This is the answer. You should know very well what are the very important things that we should practice to have a blissful life hereafter. This is the path Buddha has explained. What are the qualities that we should practice to receive a blissful life? Going to the triple gem for refuge and practicing five precepts. This is the clear path. But not only that, Buddha says hmm, practicing loving kindness is also very important to have a blissful life. When we practice these kind of activities in our life, we create a lot of supreme blessings in our life. What are the supreme blessings according to the Buddhism? I think all of you know the Mangala Sutta. The discourse of blessings, supreme blessings. Dhananta Dhammacharya Etha Mangala Muttama. Dhananta generosity is a supreme blessing. Dhammacharya, living according to Dhamma is a supreme blessing. Matapitu Patthana. If someone takes care of his or her parents, that is also one of the meritorious deeds and supreme blessings. Kalena Dhamma Savanam. Listening to Dhamma is a supreme blessing. Kalena Dhamma Sakatta. Discussing Dhamma in the proper time is a supreme blessing. Gratitude, Katanyuta. These are the supreme blessings. When we practice this path according to the Buddhism, you know, automatically these supreme blessings happen in our life. Having the triple gem, practicing five precepts, we make a blissful life hereafter, and also we create supreme blessings in this immediate life. It means we develop our happiness. We do everything in the name of happiness. Even though you are very beautiful, even though you are well educated and very rich, if you have no happiness, everything that you earn is useless. Buddha has explained the clear path how we develop our happiness. This is the heavenly path, O Sargamagga, O Sargamarga. Next, Buddha says, Buddha explained, Moksha Marga, deliverance path. What are the things that we should do to receive a deliverance path? We should purify our mind. Day by day, we should purify our mind. When we go into old age, sometimes our mind is more polluted. But we should take care of our mind. When you are going to develop your mind, when you develop your deliverance path, that is a sign that you can check yourself. What is the sign that you have a guarantee that you are going on the path of deliverance? Day by day, your trusna, drusti mana should decrease. Trusna means greed, drusti means self-view or own views and conceit mana. These negative thoughts gradually decrease in your mind if you are really in the path of deliverance. This is the thing Buddha has explained. And for that, little by little, we purify our mind from lobe, dosa and moha. Loba means greed, dos means anger, and moha means delusion or ignorance. Day by day, we should go forward on this path. Then we can see the beauty of our life. As the result of practicing this path, Buddha says, Susukamvata jivama 
your mental happiness, hmm. your spirituality day by day increase. Hmm. By the power of these meritorious deeds, hmm. may all of us attain the final bliss of liberation. Sadhu, 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 Thank you so much, Bhante, for giving us the taste of Dhamma, the taste of liberation. As I got on, I got I can't go to. You have me. O Dharmi, so much of Dharmi Guri Thana. Rak, but Jeharan Kal Guri, so much of Moi Tiloi Thana. Sil No Phalan, so much of Sil Phalan. Yano Bhante, Hodani, Hui. As for.